Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Microsoft Store error. That is, you will need the internet for this and the error code is 0x800704cf. So if you're receiving this error message on Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run Network Troubleshooter. To run Network Troubleshooter, go to the bottom right of the screen. On the bottom right, you will see the internet icon over here. And then make a right click and then click on Troubleshoot Problems. And then select Ethernet or Wi-Fi, whatever you're using, or just select All Network Adapter. And then click on Next. And once the troubleshoot is done, you can go ahead and check Microsoft Store. Still you are facing the problem, then you have to go ahead and disable the antivirus program. So try to disable antivirus program. If you have any third party antivirus such as Norton, Avast, AVG, Bitdefender. So if you have any antivirus, go to your antivirus program and just make a right click. And this is just an example I'm just doing for Avast. And then go ahead and disable your antivirus for some time. You know, when you try to launch any game or application, go ahead and disable the antivirus and then try to use the store and still you are facing the problem, then move on to the next step. Go ahead and run this command in the command prompt window. So just type in CMD in Windows search, then make a right click on command prompt, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow and then run this command. The commands are provided in the video description. So copy this command and then paste it on the command prompt window and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and then try the next command and then next and then hit the enter key and after that go ahead and restart your computer. So once you run these three commands restart your computer and then try to use Microsoft Store. Still you are facing the problem, then run the, run the next command. So again open command prompt, so just type in CMD and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow and then copy this command. These commands are provided in the video description, then paste the command over here, then hit the enter key and then restart your computer. Still you are facing the problem, then run the next command and then hit the enter key and then restart your computer. Now still you are facing the problem, after the restart run the next command in command prompt window and then hit the enter key. So run this command and still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and change the DNS settings. To change the DNS settings, just open control panel so just type in control panel in windows search and then open control panel then go to network and internet over here and then click on network and sharing center and then click on change adapter settings and select your active internet connection so it may be ethernet or wi-fi Whichever is active right now, just make a right click, then click on properties. Then select internet protocol version for TCP slash IPv4. Select this, just click on it to select it, then select, then, then click on properties. And then you have to go ahead and select the option which says use the following DNS server addresses. Put a check over here and then you have to go ahead and enter these value that is 8888 so it's 888 then after dot put 8 again after dot 8 again after dot 8 and then it's 8844 so 8 then after dot 8 then 4 then 4 and then click on ok and then close this and then restart your computer and then try to use store. Now still you are facing the problem after changing the DNS settings then go ahead and clear the store cache. To clear the store cache just type in WS reset. So it's WS reset and then 
make a right click on WS reset then click on run as administrator and then wait for this black screen to go away so here you can see the black screen do not close this window just wait for a few seconds it may take few seconds or maybe a minute this black screen will go away and then Microsoft Store will open up so just wait till Microsoft Store opens up so you can see the black screen is gone and right now you see Microsoft Store opening and then you can use store and that error should go away so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this error so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel